Rochester, New York. From innovative high tech to scenic high falls. Home of Eastman Kodak, Xerox, and Bausch and Lomb. Widely known for watery treasures like the Erie Canal, the Genesee River with its aptly named High Falls, and Lake Ontario. An all-American city where a friendly welcome and respect for the past bloom as brightly as its colorful flower festivals. The Professional Golfers Association of America presents the season's final major, Glory's Last Shot. The 85th PGA Championship from the Oak Hill Country Club in Rochester, New York. King of the Hill. Hello, my friends. I'm Jim Nance, and welcome to the 85th PGA Championship from historic Oak Hill Country Club in Rochester, New York. Oak Hill has played host to seven previous major championships, eight if you count the 1995 Ryder Cup. Kerry Middlecoff won his second United States Open here in 1956 by a stroke over Ben Hogan. Lee Trevino won his first major, the 1968 Open. Jack Nicklaus won his fifth PGA Championship in 1980, tying the record set by Rochester's very own Walter Hagen. And in 1989, Curtis Strange won his second straight Open right here at Oak Hill. Who will add his name to the glorious lore of Oak Hill? The predictable favorite is Tiger Woods, runaway leader in the world rankings and winner four times this season, coming off knee surgery. His blazing finish at Hazeltine in 2002 fell just short of catching Rich Beam, whose amazing upset touched off a run of surprise first-time major winners. Left-handed Canadian Mike Weir at the Masters. Loopy but steady swinging Jim Furyk at the U.S. Open. And unsung Ben Curtis at the British Open. The field is once again the strongest and most competitive of all and boasts 96 of the top 100 players in the world. A powerful international contention featuring Vijay Singh, Ernie Els, and Sergio Garcia. But ignore at your own risk American veterans and past PGA champions Davis Love, David Toms, and Jeff Sluman. Kenny Perry has won three times this year, and Phil Mickelson is still chasing his first major and would be a most popular winner of the Wanamaker Trophy. The best story of all would be 53-year-old Tom Watson here on a special invitation, rewarding a year of great play in major 